Hi, I'm Julian. Welcome to Flexpipe 101. Um, today we will talk about what you should keep in stock. I know if you're getting started with a product, you might ask yourself, okay, what part should I order? And um, we have about 120 SKU, but basically you need to keep about, I, I selected 20 part number roughly that you should keep in stock to make quick change on the floor. Um, so let's start with the connectors. This, uh, we have the H1 or the HJ1. This should be about 45% of all your stock. So this is the most popular connectors. Um, you need two to make one joint sets. 45% of all your connectors should be H1. H2 and H3, 18%, 15%. Why more H2? Because um, this, they usually go together to make the corner piece, but you can use the H2 also with the H4 and make a uh, four-way uh, joints so you'll use a little bit more of H2. H4 here that's also important 7% of your stock. H5 and H6 they are used for bracing, flow racks, workstation. They, you need two of these, two of these to make a, a full joint set uh, about 5% of each uh, and it's, it creates a swivel angle so you can play around so that's very useful and H7 so about 5% of H7. H7 you'll see pretty useful if you want to modify existing structure. So H1 to H7 you should keep at least a minimum in stock. H1 at least a box um, because you can do most of your structure with H1. Boats and nuts, they comes in bags of 200. You should have at least two or three bags um, in stock. And um, pipes, yeah, that's pretty, pretty useful. Um, so it comes in eight footers and I like to keep about 50 in stock minimum and because uh, an average of structure will take about 10 pipes. So we have starter kits online and there are uh, $1,500 and it's good for about five structures roughly and it will uh, follow those uh, persons as I just told you. So that's it for me. Next video is about accessories. Come to Flex Pipe 101. Sorry. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. Uh, uh, uh. Let me clear my throat. Uh, uh, uh. Let me clear my throat. Uh, uh, uh.